I mean, dude, he's dead. He lost. Yeah, but he could have won the fight. True, he might have fought like ten dudes. Yeah, and like ten of them hit him. Took with a bats. bat to the yeah, back of the head. See and was the other like, guy. What the fuck? He's like, I didn't get boosted for this shit. <laughs> yeah, and he was like, Oh fuck, cardio's not that great. <laughs> all, right. I know, I know. all right oh man we're actually working on a website right now when we for when we inevitably kicked off of youtube can't wait yep so we'll be we got the bunker i got the fucking bomb shelter wet, you're just ready it. dude just ready i don't know what you're doing just i'm letting web, you do it website, website. <laughs> i'm staying out of it's it. a little website just so we can host independent video just you know when the technocrats come cracking down yeah but then after they're gonna, trudeau they're fucking crush our server nah dude i'll get a blade server and put it in my basement they're not going to be able to touch it but no, we're good. We have storage is cheap. Let me tell you something. You guys, you guys don't know a goddamn thing about tech. Shut up. <laughs> Luddites. Fucking Luddites, man. Dude, Spud sent me a Mark Pat. You know Mark Passio? Yes. That's Dude. no God's no master. Yes. Spud sent me a clip. Apparently, he's been beefing with every. Like, he's beefing with his fan base. He's going. He's just like. Dude, there was a thing where he gets kicked off of Patreon. He addresses Patreon. And then he addresses how dumb his fan base is because they yeah. don't know technology. It's the funniest <laughs> fucking thing. Like, you idiot fucking Luddites oh, yeah, aren't got, doing shit. He got kicked off Patreon. The platform. That's yeah. scary. What for? Uh, Mark Passiel. He's like, I didn't even get it. I, I didn't even get into this whole thing. I just said it was a pandemic. And they fucking. What? I mean, he's, he's also like, you know, I, I'm sure he said more than that. Yeah. But yeah, he called he called it like a psyop. I think he called it a psyop. <laughs> Patreon was like, nah. Yeah. That's where a lot of the lingo comes from. Oh, yeah. We get we get our lingo. It's trickled from Passiao and Bill Jones yeah. to, through war mode. Yeah. And it gets filtered through <laughs> war mode. And then me and Matt talk about it. Oh, yeah. Dude, but it's so fucking funny because he's uh he's attacking the people who work at Patreon. And he was like, little boy, <laughs> piece of shit, little girl. <laughs> it's so fucking funny. I don't give a fuck if you listen to my show or not. Go back to the first episode. Do your fucking homework. Yeah, he does. he is a grumpy guy. He's very grumpy, dude. Yeah. he might, His operation's in fucking check, dude. What was the... Doesn't he have the... What's it called? The, the Ark. The Ark. <laughs> the Ark. And people pirated the Ark, too. That pissed him off. <laughs> he, had like three, he had like three terabytes of YouTube videos. He sold for like 300 bucks. <laughs> and people just pirated it immediately. He was like, you motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, what was the Ark? What was it about? <laughs> the Ark. <laughs> so, it, doesn't he also like not pay taxes? Probably he not. He was I like, mean, don't pay me in money. Pay me in oh, he's, some he's crazy big on big, shit. He's big yeah. on Bitcoin. That's That was one of his things. He's like, you guys don't know the first fucking thing about Bitcoin. <laughs> it pisses me off. <laughs> oh, what's it? How do I do? I don't know how to do that. You <laughs> fucking Luddites. We're not going to get anything done. Dude, it's so fucking funny. Yeah, he's awesome. Yeah, he rules, dude. He, uh, well, so he's giving subscribe star a chance. He's like, let's see. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if they're good to their, their word. But yeah, dude, it was, uh, the stream is very, very funny. The first, he said, like, we're going to get into shadow work. He spends like 30 minutes just motherfucking, basically the technocrats. And it's the funniest fucking thing. It's very good. It's I very hate the technocrats. I'm telling you, they might come clamping, dude. Trudeau starts fucking whispering. Trudeau's not doing good, dude. Dude, he's been a motherfucker. You dude. like the truckers. I'm big fan of the truckers, dude. Yeah, I'd like to hear. I haven't I haven't heard any of their. I've had dudes messaging me from their Canada. Grievances. Being like, I think they just don't want to be controlled. Yeah, I think they were gonna like. We well, want some saying stuff. Well, we, they should head down south, dude. South of the border, where, down where we live way. for free, dude. Come down, America. We way, love dude. freedom. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Come down, America. <laughs> we way. live but for free. They're truckers, dude. They love Canada. They yeah. love their homeland. You know, they like to. They like to drive the trucks. But yeah, dude. Uh, apparently, they were just like enough of this bullshit, and uh, yeah, it was what mandates. Yeah, just the mandates and stuff. Mandates tyranny. I heard Australia's getting a little wacky, too. Is that going yeah, on? Dude, probably. You look into that? I didn't see Australia. I don't know anything about that. I'm all it. Canada right now. I, I was waiting on, for Australia, but... I'm focused on Russia, Ukraine. Yeah. And the battle. I got to fight. I got to argue with my girlfriend. It's going to be some good... That's going to be super soldiers, dude. She's no going to be mad at this, but it was a good argument. So we... we what was the argument? I tossed on uh, Fox. Put on Beast. Fox News for like five minutes. Beast. She was fuming. Instantly. Why was she fuming? Because it's the news. She watched Fox oh, News. Gosh, All of a sudden, she was mad, up. and she was like, nah, nah, nah. "And I was like, well, I was like, what's wrong? What's <laughs> what's happening? We were just having a nice day.'" Oh. And she was like, "I'm listening to this. I mean, this is annoying." And I was like, "Okay." And then we keep watching. I was like, "You know, this is what it's designed to do. It's working on you. Oh, You're supposed to be angry. That's what this thing does." She's like, 
did you just call me dumb? <gasps> I was like, no. <laughs> no. I was like, it'd be like the same as watching porn and being like, I can't believe I'm horny. <laughs> yeah, it's like true. watching Fox and be like, I can't believe I'm mad. Yeah, true. It's designed to make you mad. It'll get you, man. Yeah. Tuck will get me. If I watch Tuck, I'm like, Yeah, man. Tuck's funny, dude. He's very funny. He might be the king of late night. Oh, dude. My Gutfeld. power rankings right now. Gutfeld, uh, you think Gutfeld's one? I mean, the numbers nah, Tuck, don't if lie. Tuck, if Tuck wanted to sit like a sit down, yeah. Con- He'd be nasty. He's got some writers, dude. Mars is killing it lately, too, dude. Yeah, Mars. A lot of people are. A lot of listeners aren't going to like this. Bill Maher. No, nah, he's not being a total. If anyone's yeah. not being a total pussy about this whole it's thing impressive. right now. I'm like, whoa, crazy. Yeah. Noah dipped his toes in the water. Trev. Trev. Oh, I thought you meant yeah. our dear Noah, who nah. has been missing. I haven't seen the boy. Yeah, he's, he's getting his education. He's, he's got his, He's studying. He's in Which is important. Yeah, Trevor Noah came out and said something. Like, said something about the vaccine companies being like. Like the fact that the guy, I don't know what the fuck he said, but it was like one of the owners of the companies was like, nah, our vaccine's good. And everyone's like, all right, cool. And yeah. He's like, oh, maybe he uh, has a reason to, uh... and they were people like, how fucking dare you? They spaz on him. Really? Yeah, but he'll go into liberal re-education. Like, I'm sorry. Time... He'll be with Whoopi. Just be well, like, that's what he did. It's time to re-educate ourselves. He made a Holocaust joke? When? A while ago. And he had to go, he had to go to like. Re-educate himself? I could be wrong on this. Where do they go? He had to go to like the Holocaust Museum. And he just did he do the M M&M and M meal? Had to say I'm sorry. Yeah, he did, did the M M&M and M meal, dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> what the fuck was that about? I don't know. Dude. Was that for that? For was that BLM? And sisters, yeah, yeah, that was BLM. M M&M and M. No, M&M was M&M's that M M's three years late? He <laughs> kneeled, dude. I, I saw him kneel. Yeah, but, but, but was that? Yes, that was BLM. No, the commissioner came out and was like, "We were aware he was going to do that. Like we knew." So like M M&M and M's people. Again, this is just for me glimpsing the news while I'm taking a dump. But M M&M, and the story in my head is that. His team called the NFL like M's going to kneel, and, and, and NFL had to be like, "All right, well, it's going to look dumb, <laughs> but okay." Uh, M's yeah. going to kneel right before Mary J. Blige. <laughs> it's like, okay, damn, that sucks, dude. What are you... Yes, That's so. Funny. I wish I could kneel with my hip flexors. <laughs> uh, That'd be a sick excuse. I was right, excited. Daniel. I was excited for fifty. Yeah. It's because he's fat, 50 cent, hanging, yeah, he's, for, hanging from the rafters. Dude. He's jolly, dude. What the fuck was he thinking? <laughs> I didn't see it. How did no one say no? The big don't do that? Yeah, he, was, he did. You remember the, in, in the club, yeah. In the club, his music video, yep. he's hanging upside down. He, he did that again <sighs> with the G-Unit fucking beater he's on. Just, he must look he's, he's huge. He's huge, dude. What? But he's hanging upside down, too. He was like... <laughs> <laughs> and started, he was trying to go, like, go, go. Like that part. He's oh. like, Go. <laughs> That was oh. that was geezers having fun. That was geez fun. That was a geese central, dude. Dr. Dre. I was praying for rap god, dude. Yeah, what the hell? I wanted rap god. Why did you lose yourself? I don't know. That's a bit. That's a good Super Bowl. It wasn't his song. show. It wasn't his show. Dude. Yeah, it wasn't his show. Kendrick dominated. I heard he was good. Yeah, I liked all the anti police rhetoric as well. That's what I liked. That was important. What was going on? <laughs> what was the anti police rhetoric? <laughs> There's a couple lyrics that were like, "Fuck the cops." Yeah, huh. it's pretty fun. Yeah, it's good. I don't mind it. Yeah, I, I got in an argument with a uh, an argument. I got in an argument with Brittany. We uh, they teach Maya. We've been sending Maya to daycare, and they teach her like like sign language stuff, or they're trying to. And Brittany's like, "What's the sign language for family?" And I hit Maya. I was like, "I hit Maya." Like, oh no, with the B, B gang, dude. <laughs> and Brittany was like, "That's not funny." Uh, I knew people who were in stuff like that, and I was like, "All right, well, that's." I'm like, "Well, it was funny." I was like, "That's this was it's funny. funny for me." To, that's what the whole I just point. did was funny. She's like you didn't, you didn't grow up around that. I'm like, "That's why it's funny for me to do this." It's so easy for me to laugh about. So then, exactly, and I'm like, and it's funny. The fact I can chuck up a nice B, dude, is yeah. sick. She's like, "That's that," and then, uh, Bro, uh, I, I'm sorry. To- He's a buttons. viewing booth. Touching buttons. What made what made you want to get your sperm? There's just a guy in there jerking off with you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I just want. I'm, it, I turned 44 and I was interested yeah. to see what the just boys are up to. See what's going on. True. Yeah. See if they're good back swimming. See if they're just fucking. See if yeah. they're. I don't they're know. They're all going. Singing in a circle. See if it's a laser river. Gone. Yeah. Yeah. See. See how many dead soldiers we have. Just yeah. good to know too. Be cool to like see what's up. Yeah. Just thousands of them bloated on a especially, battlefield. <laughs> especially if you can't get pregnant or you can't inseminate. Yeah. It'd be nice to blame the woman. Never tell her. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't be like, ever. something's yeah. wrong with you. Yeah. I must 100%. go away for two weeks yeah, to find yeah, my yeah. next piglet. Yeah, big 100% yes. of mine. Mine First works. Actor, yeah. It's 100%. you that's failing us. <laughs> we need an heir. Would you break up with a woman if you definitely wanted kids and you found that she couldn't? I don't know. That's a tough one. Yes. Yeah. It depends how much. 
I cared about her, but yeah. Or I don't you know. just go, let's get a surrogate, or maybe sure. I get a second girlfriend that can actually a surrogate. Handle. Now all of a sudden we're talking a very nice fantasy. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's a tough combo. Yeah. That's actually kind of yeah. That'd be, be kind of nice too. Just even obviously you don't fuck the surrogate, but like being like my cum's in there. Oh yeah, yeah. you know what that I mean. Anytime you see her, you go, God damn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my jizz is in there. <laughs> Hopefully, just get reminded of her breakfast. Like, wait, so I don't. I'm, this whole thing's kind of mystifying me. Where's my cum exactly? <laughs> it's in your <laughs> lady. Nice. I'll be right in sick, your pussy. <laughs> That's good to hear. I'll give you twenty grand. <laughs> Carry my seed, or just to make it like her feel better about the thing, you could shoot into her and have her drip it into the. Other <laughs> oh lady. my god! Just to keep everyone in they the latch. Little cum swap. Just yeah. so people don't feel left out. Spit it in there. <laughs> just so people don't feel left out. Like an avatar tail. <laughs> just <Ooh. laughs> two fucking labias. Just <laughs> yeah, that's an unfortunate circumstance people run into, and you have to just be like, you'd have to be like, all right, we're going to adopt ten kids. We're going to adopt yeah. 10 kids and we're going to hold down a 1950s household where you have to do everything. Yeah. If you have the money, it's nice to collect them like trading cards, get all different colors and shit. You can get foster kids and get paid. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Just get a wild ass family. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm talking native to Cambodian. The whole thing. Yeah. There's not a big jump there, native to Cambodian. <laughs> they look the exact same. They look very similar. <laughs> Um, it's a point in observation. It is. Well, you know, yeah. similar, close, close to the equator. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're, you want more of a continuum. Yeah. I, I want. That. Yeah, I want. Siberian. I'm, dude, I'm just fucking mad at Beyonce right now. What's wrong with her? What? Did you read her lady? Did you see her movie? She sucks, dude. She's turning into Oprah for me. I can't stand the look at her now. What happened? She's just too dramatic with all her fucking riches. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, her, she put out her a movie now. Yeah, she's acting. Her she, I'm so tired of her, her acting fucking normal. Yeah. <laughs> it's like get the fuck. You're you are an empress. Yeah, she is. Now you sound like a part of the beehive. <laughs> you called her empress. Yeah, I did. No, she, dude, Queen she, B. she put out a movie like Taylor Swift. I didn't, I, apparently it's the thing. They're putting out like tour yeah. movies. Their now. concerts, yeah. Concert movies. So you she put pet. out a concert movie written, directed, produced by the Queen Bee herself, obviously. It, nice. Yeah, She Queen directed B. it? Yeah, dude. Nice. It just says so much. I mean, a lot of the stuff she puts in there, like what she leaves out says more than the stuff she puts in. Yeah. <laughs> where, <laughs> reading, where did you read that? I was, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was reading it today. Dude, NPR. Shame on NPR. Why? They ran a headline today saying Beyonce's silence on Israel-Palestine is definite. Or something to that point. Like her silence is so loud. And it was like, Go so like, I'm like. They can't be serious about this. I read the article and it was just them describing the podcast that they talked about it on. So they're kind of using it as a plug. NPR used the conflict to boost up their pro their podcast and then said like Beyonce should be more vocal about yeah, the Palestine-Israel yeah. conflict. It's very Israel of them. <sighs> <laughs> they think, <laughs> wait, they think is she should be pro more pro-Palestine? No, they said they just, just need she her needs, take. They she were, needs to pick a side. NPR was totally neutral. They were like, we just need her take. Her, we need Beyonce's Her opinion. not talking <laughs> about this is fucked. And then they went on to praise, like, not in this article, but now they're, like, super praising her parenting style. It's, like, very, dude, her parenting style is so fucking good. What's so good about parenting her parenting style? It's not that shit in the Kardashian household you'd see. It's, like, yeah. they are, it's gentle with a little bit of, like, oh, uh, like, a little. Uh -uh. Pizzazz. Little, yeah. Yeah. It's gentle parenting the way people. That's just to that say. Texas. In I mean, an elder millennial like myself needs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like where we're going. Keep an, going. an elder millennial Don't like stop. Beyonce is showing people how to do gentle parenting with just a little bit of like, you better not. And they yeah. showed a clip of her being stopped. That's annoying. And they're like, oh my God. So that means that she's, you think she's hit them before? The what? So that's why they respect her words? No, they're saying she doesn't hit. She models. Gentle parenting, but also with a little bit of like yeah. Queen Bee sass. That's obviously. not coming from her. It's coming from that, the Kardashians. One of the six mates. Look, dude, the Kardashians would never do what she does, dude. Yeah, the Kardashians yeah. can't handle it. <laughs> it's like, dude, this is all just like AI media yeah. corporate propaganda that just gets because every to time people. Kim yells, cum comes out of her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> She does, yeah. She like randomly spits up like a baby. Hit her back. It was, it was a two week old that time. It just it came out heavy. Just, <laughs> just an you know, piece of cornbread in the back of your molar. Kardashians. <laughs> yeah, I was. I read the news for like it's old. Cum. I don't think I could care less about anybody's opinion I more than what. Who the fuck would be like? What do you think Beyonce thinks about? Dude, I, I, Israel Palestine. This is NPR too. NPR is respected. Not anymore. It's like Vice. Dude. Yeah, they're gone. Yeah, true. They're gone. True. <laughs> Dude, I it. walked, I got to walk past NPR in, I think, Spokane. They have like an NPR studio and it's just wide, big glass windows. And I'd walk by and go, because <laughs> you can see them in yeah, there talking. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, that was real. 
and then just keep walking. That's nice. It was nice. You should have got a brick. True. <laughs> you really should. True. You should have got. You should have just put a free Palestine flag on. <laughs> And thrown a brick through it, they'd have to be like, "Wow, he's, that's fine." Or put both. Put a <laughs> did a flag that was half Israel, half Palestine, and just threw myself through the window. Yes. Yeah. And be like, "Beyonce, where are you? <laughs> Beyonce, help! Speak, my we, queen." We need the queen's take. I want Taylor's been awfully quiet herself as well. She's been busy with boys. She's boy crazy. Dude. She is boy crazy. <laughs> she has been, but now she's got a big football player. She what? You think she's actually getting? Yeah. Yeah, dude. I don't think that. I, I don't understand you why. Don't believe in the conspiracy that it's not real. How could? Why would it? Because he went from a thick ass black chick that was gorgeous to this fucking frail skeleton. He's taking a break. Why do you? Why are you talking about Taylor Swift like? Because <laughs> I don't She's like a pretty her. lady. Who was like Kelsey's her. original other lover? Huh? Who was his lover before? Ah, uh, some runway model with uh, buns of steel, dude. Really? Unbelievable. He's taking a break. He's taking a skinny white lady break. Yeah. yeah, I guess it is nice to take a shift. This is the two weeks away from yeah. thick black ass. Yeah, <laughs> yeah dude, he needs a break. Yeah, he needs, that has to be tired. His pelvis is sore. Yeah, he's getting thrown back. He's you know he's, he's getting thrown back on you. That's like a fucking piston, dude. Ah, oh, true. <laughs> and he switched to just a fucking true. Yeah. yeah, frail tiny hiney. Little, <laughs> little boy ass. <laughs> nice tiny hiney, dude. You'd be surprised. Yeah, if you get to the depths of like basically all that ass and hit like a tiny hiney, you can start to be like, all right, this is this is nice. Yeah, it's like a little diamond. Dude. Just I made pressured. that shift once, and it was the scariest thing in the world. The tiny hiney? Yeah, you could see like her, the top of her butt bone right above her yeah, asshole. Yeah, butt dimples. There. Tailbone comes out of your yeah. skin. Nice. You have to fuck standing up in the shower so you don't see any skeletal remains. <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, he's a bit of a connoisseur. Kels is a connoisseur. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. I miss his old... I didn't know he was with... She wouldn't be a BBW, would she be? Would she be a classic no, BBW? Just no, a, she was just thick. If I played on, we'll, we're at four thirty-six. We'll get out of here. Push it Ten me. minutes. Dude. The, uh, dude. So, I'm reading on Plato, dude, and I. So he got his his government was like, we're killing you. He was inconvenient. The bro was inconvenient. They're mm-hmm. like, we don't like what you're doing. They gave him. They they were like, we're gonna charge you for corrupting the youth, and I think spreading atheism. Which, if you know anything about Socrates, bro, he's, or Socrates, he's that's not what he's about at all. Yeah, he's. It's just not about that at all. Like it's bullshit. But yeah. <laughs> they, so then he it's was like, Alex like Jones. For, and he goes, well, if anything, it's like my punishment. If like if they're the charges, my punishment should be receiving a pension from the city of Athens. And they were like, fuck you, dude. Because he was basically like, that's what you guys do. You're putting that on me. He's yeah. Like, all I tell, I'm just telling the youth how sick fucking goodness, truth and beauty is. And they're like, dude. And they, they apparently were like sentenced to death. He could have gotten out of it. And he was like, no, I'm drinking the fucking He poison. drank the lock. Hemlock. Hemlock. He's like, no, fuck that. I'm drinking the poison. He drank the lock. He's they're like, Martin. dude, just say. He drank, dude. They're like, just say. He's like, I, I literally can't lie, dude. He's like, I'm not doing that. So Joe he fucking, Rogan. dude, for sure. He drank the hemlock. He's Rogan, dude. <laughs> he drank the hemlock. And dude, he had a wife. He was seven years old. He had, a wife, he had a wife with a little kid. She was like, please don't do that. And he goes, dude, will someone get my wife out of here? She's fucking crying. Take her the fuck out. Harshing the vibes. Like, babe, I love you, but come on, man. I'm, I'm dying. Who cares? I'm getting released to the true forms, dude. Who cares? <laughs> yeah, dude, this is basement time. It's fucking. Anyway. Oh, yeah. <laughs> dude. He... So then he. Get her out of here. I'm dying. He gets in there. He gets in there and he's like, his bro starts. It's he's every like... man's dream, too. Oh, like, yeah. Babe. Babe. I'm dying. I'm a Don't soldier of philosophy, it. dude. I die now. I'm going. I'm, going re- I'm getting released from yes. the imperfections. So he's sitting there, and uh, so then finally he's like, they're like, here's the hemlock. They're like, dude, please, you can get exiled. Like, you can do a million different things. He was like, oh, just crushes the hemlock. And they're like, everyone starts crying. All of his followers are like, no. And he's like, what the fuck? I would have sent you out here with my wife. Stop crying, you pussies. Dude, Whoa. crushes him. He's like, I thought that's why I kicked the woman out of here, because I don't want a bunch of crybabies. You guys straighten the fuck up. What are you doing? Completely, he's like, shut up. And he just sat there, chilled. And they're like, yo, when you can't feel your legs, let us know. You can sit down. He just laid down. He started just like just sitting there talking shit. Eventually, he was like, "All right." And he laid down. Fucking damn, died. That's awesome. And his whole thing was that if he was like, if you, he's like the physical reality is one thing, but if you can contact the absolute depths of goodness and truth, there's like forms above our physical resistance that are utterly perfect. And he's like, and you'll know when you hit them. And then he died for truth and went down to immor- immortality. And it's like, damn, dude. Everyone's like, that's not real. And he hit them. And it's like, man, well, kind of is. That seems pretty legit. Kind of is, dude crushed it and yeah. he was the big guy being like if, if a democracy is rudderless it'll it'll crash and burn yeah the bros need to be pumped up and he was like they did it and it, 
You want to know a good, a good last words type thing? What? Similar to that? It reminds me of in the Dahmer doc and Ed Gein. Did mm-hmm. we talk about this before? No. Ed Gein was a guy who was, was it Ed Gein? Or no, John Wayne Gacy. Or was it Gein? It was Gein. One of them who talked shit at the execution. I the Dahmer? They were talking no, shit one of them was a serial killer. I think it was Gacy. Okay, okay. He was like torturing dudes. He killed mm-hmm. a fuck ton of people. And then the families were there to watch him get his lethal injection. And like, do you have any last words? And he like looks into, into the glass where the families are. He's like, yeah, fuck you guys, you fucking pussies. <laughs> <laughs> and they killed him. <laughs> Dude, it's so funny to be that fucking, that big of a sack of shit. Like the whole family, was, the, the families were there like finally resolution. We get to watch this guy. He's going to probably, you know, be sad. Do you have any last words? He's like, fuck you guys, you fucking assholes. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the guy who ran over uh, the grandmoms? Did you see his court deposition? No. The guilty <laughs> verdict. I, it came up on my thing. They're, they're trying to divide us, dude. As for it, me. It came up on my thing. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma dude. got run over by a black guy. <laughs> <laughs> dude, it came up on my We feet. can't do it again. You can't. But dude, it's... Very funny. The guy came up on my feed. The guy gets sentenced and some guy just erupts. Dude, just goes, you fucking piece of shit, burn in hell. And you see the guy catch news that he's going to jail for his life. And he's like, and then the guy yells at him. And you see him as like, and then he gets roasted in the comments, dude. Really? Oh, he got destroyed. Oh, he was being a sissy. He was getting made fun of. People were just like, fuck this guy. Thank you for telling me he was a piece of shit. Everyone was like, fuck this guy. I mean, I thought you were going to say he chirped back and was like, fuck you, pussy. No, dude. He literally just went, he he received the news that he was going to jail for life. And then he was like, he was like literally spinning. And then some guy was like, you know, you burn in hell, you piece of shit. (laughs) (laughs) You see him take that in and go, yeah, everybody's dude, so mad at me. If he ever checks the comments of that video, dude, he's gonna check the comments. Oh, dude, he's gonna, he's he's gonna be in prison. He's oh. fried. Imagine that. We you check get, the comments. You get to go out and have a good time. That's what I'm saying. Can you imagine You're, checking the comments and being in a bed, just like. Oh. And everyone's like, "Burn in hell, you piece of Fuck. fucking shit." Not That's, like this guy's a fucking pussy. This guy used to be funnier. This <laughs> is fucking. You want to stay? Burn in hell. You gotta stop the comments. Yeah. If you're in prison, no comments. No, time dude. to read the Bible and say, "I am religious now." Yes. I've actually. I'm better yeah. than you guys. I mean, there's no all other the play. victims and their families. I'm better than you. I'm, I forgive you guys. I forgive for you guys you for me. locking me up. <laughs> 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 yeah, hitting, the, hit, getting executed, and hitting a family with like a <laughs> fuck you, pussies is so funny. Yeah, fuck you. Like, Shove it up your ass, you fuck. Kiss my oh, ass. Oh my dude. god. Kiss my ass to the families, <laughs> dude. <laughs> How rude. It's the rudest. All they wanted was to watch this guy kind of whimper or this, like this dude did it. He gave it up. He was like, uh, like yeah. starting to whimper and break. That guy didn't break, dude. That's dude, crazy. Kiss my ass. The mental constitution. To You're about like, to get executed by the state and just being like, kiss my ass. Fuck you. That's crazy. Sorry, I killed your fucking pussy kids. <laughs> Can you imagine not giving a fuck on that level? I mean, he was. You fucked up. He was a retarded guy. He would dress like a clown and like <laughs> torture and rape people to death. <laughs> That's not giving a fuck. Yeah, he didn't give a fuck. People always say, I don't give a fuck. He it's had like, no eh, fucks left. None at all. He Literally, was, they were like, dude, you got one fuck left. Like, I Please can't even, it. dude. Fuck, I can't kiss even. My KMA, dude. For real, kiss my ass. I'm about to, get, <laughs> about to get injected with poison. Suck my dick. Jesus Christ. There's one guy who was, was Go Raiders. I think I've said it 900 fucking times. I say it every day. What? One guy's last words were "Go Raiders." He's an Oakland Raiders fan. They were executing him. Do you have any last words? Like "Go Raiders." They're one in five. <laughs> they fucking suck. <laughs> now they're in Vegas. He gave his life up for nothing. <sighs> Do you have any other good last words? There's Let me get a some. lot of good ones. There's one Jimmy Glass uh, that killed two women. Said, "I'd rather be fishing." Oh, That's hit him with good. the bumper sticker. Some yeah. guy had a good like limerick. He said, uh, whether a king or a street sweeper, we all meet the Grim Reaper. <laughs> the, the, the Friday. Friday. Like, yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You first. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, okay. Well, see you there. Nice. These are good. Keep going. These are uh, fun. Amelia Dyer, thought to have murdered 400 children in the 1890s, said, I have nothing to say. And they just killed her. That's okay. a good one. Yeah, well, she got framed. Yeah, you 400 think? You can't kill 400 lot. kids yeah true oh you can kill 400 <laughs> kids then she's a pediatric nurse yeah you can true, hit them with, you can hit them with a little they're oh. nasty bro <laughs> <laughs> hmm, this makes me feel good to do this for some reason <laughs> i kind of liked that i'm gonna do it to 400 more kids 40 cc's come on go dog 
There's so many. Yeah. Take, take us out. Take us out with the read final words. Read them all. Francis Two Gun Crowley's last words were, you sons of bitches, give love to my mother. That's a good one. Give what to my mother? You sons give of bitches, love. give love to give my love mother. to my mother. Tough. Tough guy. That's and awesome. he got hung? I imagine he sounds like yeah, a gallows type like a, fella. Yeah, he's a murderer and a crim- criminal. <laughs> oh, no, he got he got. <laughs> they would hit him with fucking like horse thieves. He zapped to death. He got stabbed to death? No, electric chair. Oh, sick. Nice. Uh, that had to hurt like fucking hell, dude. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. That would stink. Did you ever hit a fucking socket? Yeah. That would stink. Imagine like <laughs> fucking 10,000 times that. Do you, you hear your brain like... <laughs> they do Shoot jokes yourself. too. This guy that's last name was Fries said, uh, how's this for a headline? French fries. And then they yeah, said, I knew that one. I knew that one. That's crazy. Nice. nice. This one lady got freaking gas chambered and it just scrolled away in 51. I didn't know they were gas so chambered ga- killers. Gas you up. Oh, yeah. I guess they were doing we a did. lot of gas. Well, we did. We did take some of the Nazis dude over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he took their technology. From the yeah. Yeah. This guy said, the lady got beam gassed? Me up. <laughs> yeah. He said, beam me up? Yeah. Fuck yeah. The that's fucking seven. awesome, dude. <laughs> Lethal injection. Yeah. The girl who got gas said, uh, wait, let me try to find it because it was pretty weird. But it yes. wasn't very funny. She said, "Like you people always are always certain you're right, or good people are always certain they're right." And then they, and then they fried her. I don't even know what that means. Yes. Yeah, that'd be that'd be tough to fuck up yeah. those last words. Yeah, man. Like, good oh. people always think they're right. <laughs> Son of a fucking. Fuck. Ah. The road to hell is paved with bad fuck. <laughs> Dead. Oh damn! They gave some guy. This guy said, "I did not get my spaghettios. They gave me spaghetti, and I want the press to know this." <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. These are some good dudes. <laughs> yeah, like they're like around. They're like messing around. For real, I was promised spaghettios. Yeah, I got bullshit ass regular spaghetti. Uh, I will haunt you. French Fuck. fries. Let's do it. <laughs> Gary Gilmore. <laughs> Shout out Gary Gilmore, dude. <laughs> Fuck it. 1977. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Let's do oh, it. he got firing squad. Firing squad. Was he in Utah? There was one guy whose last wish. He was the last firing squad. I'm not sure. It doesn't say where he is. There was one guy that was like. Really? He got the death penalty, and he was like, I demand firing squad. Oh. Like, sweet. All right, bro. That's a good way to go. That's it. It says, fun fact, this inspired the Nike logo. I don't know if that's a joke or not. That's a, a fucked up joke, yeah, Sean. That's a that's, no, it, no, that's what it says. I know. I'm kidding. Sean. I have to go to the World we're Series. Yeah, baseball. yeah, we're going to enjoy the World Series. Bye, everybody. Bye. Like, why can't they dance? True. Like, what's wrong? Why yeah. are you so stiff out there? I'm like, I just don't know how. Yeah, so, I, I can't up. do it. Well, I got the secret. My my black wife unlocked the secret with me the other day. Please. You just as the drums hit, you just hit the drums, but with your feet, and you're just dancing, and it looks perfect, and you're on, and you're in rhythm. I don't know. I'm telling you, dude. I'm telling. Well, just <laughs> don't do that. Well, you also got. Oh, there's the other key too. So you can't have a tight spine. You got to hunch a little. Oh, bit. hunch a little. Hunch a little. That's good. Hunch a little and loosen, and then just. Look how good I look right now. Oh, that is pretty you good. good. So much better. You're like, you I look was... like bye, bye, bye. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> you're like one of the marionettes. <laughs> See, a punch. You're a little Pocono. Can't be tight. Pocono. I hit her. I have like, a, you know, I'm, I'm like you. We have like marine posture. I'm right. Fucking, I'm up. I'm high. And, but yeah, she's like, hunch it out. It's fucking. That's good. Like juvenile. Just met, right. Imagine a huge chain. You're showing a camera. Okay. That's how I way, do <laughs> Marines and gays. Greatest posture. True. It's weird. How it's got a lot of range. Gay guys can, they can, you know. Well, it's like they, any girl dance. No girls can dance bad. Everyone's like, yeah. No, my gal's a real robot. Really? Oh, my God. She's a boner yeah. out there. Really? Mine, yeah. mine, too. Really? You know her. She can't dance. She, well, Imagine I, her dancing. Well, it's like girls can. There's no move a girl. The last can, one could. The last one was really? twerking and shit. Really? Yeah, it's so hot yeah. when a girl can dance. Yeah. Blows yeah, my tight. mind. Well, there's no move that's kind of off. Like girls. I was at a wedding recently, and girls are just like. Nah, be- I don't like the twerking. <laughs> you don't. No. Really? Your girl's twerking? That's good. You're just sitting there. You're well, like, that's what weird. The fuck, are you doing, lady? You gotta get behind her, dude, and just fucking. No, I can't grind. Two whites you can't go... grind. Yes, you can. Yeah. No, we can't. You gotta stand totally still. Matt, get behind please, her. you're speaking on an experience you don't sorry, have. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You're speaking I'm... on my experience no, I'm, I'm of actually... whites only I'm dating. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Wod. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're. I apologize for that. That was insensitive. Um, but yeah, the. Um, but yeah, no, you just yeah, you just get out there and let them let them do your thing. Punch. Yeah, get behind them and just. Oh yeah, girl. That's what I was talking about. Yeah, girls, dog hump out on. There's no the dance bar floor. for girl. Girls can go out and just. I was watching them do like all this weird shit with their hands, and it's girls have a lot of different options that like. That's true. So like you, you know, 
Because we don't want to look. That's a choice. That's a choice by a girl. Yeah, we don't want to look feminine either yeah. when we're dancing. Or gay. So you, yeah, or gay. Yeah, yeah exactly. So <laughs> a girl can do either. Sure, they can yeah, be gay. Yeah, but if you're too good at dancing, it's gay. Yeah, you gotta you gotta mm. straddle the line. If you're like a re- you go to a wedding and somebody's a good dancer, you gotta straddle the it's line. It's disgusting when a straight guy's out being a good dancer. He's got moves. No, I mean like a good dancer, like not he's, you. He's technical, <laughs> not you. I'm trying I, to stand. No, 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 you're not. No, I hear you. I'm hear talking you. about technical. like a dude that like there's a circle around him and he starts dancing and, and he does a straight. spin. Uh, there, there, like, oh. Well, it's like there's like a man. There can be a manufactured aspect to it. You know what I mean? It's not coming from a place, an authentic place. It's, it's studied up. Right, you know you're saying, yeah, it's, it's been, yeah, yeah, you practice. He's trying for to this fuck wedding? some guys, trying to fuck all your cousins at a wedding yeah. with his dance moves. Yeah, you gotta stop. You gotta yeah. stop him. Get a or jerk. You have to just step up to him and just challenge him with like get like real gay on him on the dance. Yeah, floor. I you think say. the hottest thing you can do as a guy, hey, hey, is a uh, bad dancer but owning it. I think girls like that. They're like, this guy sucks at dance, but he's so confident well, in it. They think yeah, you have he's a big having dick fun. If you do that. Yes. So this guy must have a huge fucking dick. Exactly. Which I don't, but <laughs> I'll, I'll get drunk enough that I'm. You seem like you got a big dick. I'm surprised. I am a hot medium. Nice. Yeah. yeah. You guys both probably you seem like probably a hot medium. the same mediums. dick, honestly. Ah, I feel like the blackness will get you another inch. <laughs> <laughs> it might have grown. Like your, your Dude, dick I, is evolved. I was evolved. telling someone the other day, I think it fucking. I had a, I told, I had a dick renaissance in college, and I, I swear to God, I think it might have been that. When you made the jump, yeah, yeah when I fully and I fully committed. I think it was just like, like that little bit inside of me just <clears throat> right. came out. It's yeah. a little bit, just a tad, just to keep me, you know, exactly. It's evolutionary. Keep everything exactly. Keep right. everything in line. Oh, here's the other joke. We got a workshop tonight. What you got? Uh, I'm just trying to defend white women. Nice. Because everybody's wild. everybody's been trashing them. Oh yeah. Every single comedian gets stepping up for your like, You know who's the what? Yeah. I'm like, we got to protect our white queens. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't have anything other than they were responsible. White women were responsible for Barack Obama, Seth mm-hmm. Curry. Uh, Seth Curry, the basketball player. Steph Curry, I should have said, but and Seth, who's his Seth? brother. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Patrick Mahomes. Who's Pretty Patrick good. Mahomes Best quarterback oh, in the yeah. NFL. So why are they... Oh, I see. Oh, like they gave birth to all of them. Good Drake. Point. Drake and that guy. And Obama's the best one. Yeah. Year. I thought you were saying they voted for Obama. No, no, no. I thought uh, so. True. Too. I should have... I won't start with him. Yeah. True. Maybe yeah. start with Wayne Gretzky. And Obama's dad <laughs> left and she raised him. It's all white lady. Anyway, and then the end so this, you're bringing like, this out there and like, and Obama's no good fucking dad. <laughs> no, I'm not saying that part. <laughs> <laughs> You see, I got, there's something there. You got something there. Like defending, defending your white queens. Defending is white queens is funny, and then and then at the end being like, also lay off them. They're dumb as hell. <laughs> True. <laughs> like back off. They're fucking idiots. Yeah. They right. just got out of the house like 40 years ago. True. 30 years ago. They they're were dumb incub- as hell. They, they have incubated. no idea what they're doing. They out were there. incubated for sure. They're going around yeah. yelling at people, there screaming, go. crying. There you go. Yeah. I, yeah. I they were incubated heavily, dude. Oh yeah. yeah. They're like homeschooled kids. <laughs> I completely and agree, also white guys are that we're we're doing a very good job of being like yeah it's them right meanwhile literally we do it's white guys we've been backstabbing each other <laughs> well the they white were guys quiet. no I'm saying girls and guys when we did horrible shit they were quiet yeah and true. so they were like accomplices but I still don't want them flying planes <laughs> true that <laughs> all right I don't Joker. think there's anything there no no I, I like I that think I like that. that you got like something we'll get, it. we'll get it fired up yeah yeah that's something dude I had, an, I had an idea for a um because I was thinking about how inherently and i i I do like you know i i guess people get mad at this but i think (laughs) women instinctively and i think this is real and not maybe it's you know obviously like maybe 10 out of 100 this doesn't apply to but they they like they're trying to design a house and their whole their their plans have to do with like the life within like a net like it's a whole nesting thing so it's not really they're not on a con not like a conquest thing they want to set up a headquarters so and it's like a lot of them, but they need a dude to do it. Yeah. So they need a dude. They're trying to build a nest. They need a nest, eggs. but you need a dude. But the girls that don't get the dude, who don't get the nest, I was yeah. like, we got to start figuring out a thing to do with them because they're causing problems. Yeah, the women without homes? Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> I was thinking of starting a orphanage. Just whores. Orphanage, yeah. dude. A you start up a orphanage, dude, and you just fucking, you give them like Have you been to an apartment in New York with like <laughs> three women? Oh. That's a orphanage. A they're all dude. whores. But you got to take care of them, dude. You got to take care of them. And you got to give them like, you, like you get them together. You give them like bot Instagram followers. So in their head, they're like, oh, I'm fucking those videos. They'll video themselves all day and be like. I've been videoing myself all day. Really? It's TikToks. You're doing TikToks? Of course. you. No, I mean, I've been watching them. Yeah, oh, yeah. Dude, dude, you women. would be nasty on TikTok. True. 
Yeah. <laughs> you punch, do this. It's punch. This. Yeah. But yeah, I was thinking about that, man. And it's like, and as soon as women are like, that's not true. It's like everyone busts out their phones. Let's see who has plans on whatever that yeah, thing Pinterest. is. Pinterest. Mm. One group of us has like has like 90 living rooms in their phone. Yeah. Go. They're nesters, bro. They're all they're just trying to build a nest and they need a dude. They would hate hearing this. They would. But, but you're, it's true. you got something. I don't I think, think you got something. They're, they're, I think they know. The whole world. They all have Pinterest of their wedding, their like, house. They, this room, they come in. They just. Yeah. True. They want to put on overalls and splash one line of paint on, and then call a yeah. contractor. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. <laughs> but yeah, no. The um, but I was thinking about that. I'm like, just a little tip into the you know. Well, they're in a the tough psychology. spot. You're right because it's like girl power, independent, all this shit. And but then you're like, they're like, I like baking. But I can't let them yeah. know I yeah. like baking because that's like a traditional yep. gender role thing. But you still like it, and then you uh, want you a gotta, kid, but you're not supposed to. You say gotta you leave want the a kid. city. But they get a bad. They're city. all women. My, the sex Back home. The they're women. Sex in the city. Sigh off them, dude. Sex in the city. Did the women in cities are out of control. You leave the city. They're all like, oh, yeah, chill. let's get married at 23. Well, I'm the, ready to start a family. Yeah, let's have five fucking kids, three right. dogs. True, but then at Sex in the City, the whole it all culminated in Mr. Big. He was the star of Sex in the City. What was I don't remember. Mr. Big was the guy. I just remember jerking off to the one sex scene (laughs) every week. Mr. Big snatched up SJP. Who I think is hot. What do you think of her? SJP. I think is hot. When I was a kid, I loved her. Me too. I was I was so into that crazy mug. Yeah, the horse. Yeah, yeah, but it's she. She can pull it off. Crazy (laughs) mug. I mean, she's got a wild, wild face. Yeah, it's almost Medusa like. Yeah, but it works. It entranced me. Yeah, Yeah. she's got the mole too. Dick hard. I didn't even notice she had a mole. I was just. Just going through that fucking like maze like face. I couldn't yeah. I didn't even True. see the I didn't, even, I didn't even get to that. I'm still on like the center right of her face. And she's yeah. just talking about being a slut the whole time. Yeah. 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 It's great. Just laying in a bed typing laying on a it, fucking oh. keyboard. And I hate to admit it, but men like women putting clothes on and trying on shit. That's what TikTok is. Yeah, just yeah, like, oh, yeah. look at her outfit. Look at her outfit. I mean, Which dude, sounds super yeah. millions gay, of views. Millions. Just watching because that's all you want to do it when you go out is stare at a girl, but you can't just you gotta like look away. Yeah, yeah. But that's what we want to do. So that's what TikTok is great. You're TikTok. I get to stare this girl in her outfit the tiktok True. algorithm <laughs> nice. tiktok algorithm has discovered that i am a pedophile really oh it's, it's all right, over trying me. to break you down it's trying to make me a pedophile dude i mean is it what do they do they give you they should give you age stamps well it just it just looks at how long you watch each video so yeah. of course if it's a hot chick i'm gonna watch the whole video true and then yeah so is, now, it, is there now, anything if to I stop? turn on TikTok right now, it'll be a hot college shit. You got to throw well, a, a Family Guy clip in there every now and then just to balance it out. Yeah, true. Was is there anything on TikTok to stop like like say like fourteen year olds take videos of themselves? Is, uh, dude, do they I have an algorithm think, to like stop girl, that from getting to you? There was a girl that was so hot, and then <laughs> one of her videos was like, "Here are my prom pictures." Oh, I was just like, "Dude, no, what, are you doing? what is going? on? I'm not doing it." No, I'm saying TikTok. TikTok sending me these yeah. beautiful angels. Did, and that that was it. It wasn't like and then, but like that was a flash, like a throwback Thursday. I mean, not. I don't want to throw anybody under the bus, but this must have been exactly what actual real life was for Delia. Oh, right. yeah. <laughs> like every day, right. it must have been real life TikTok where he's like fucking a chick, and she's like, "Here's my prom photos." It's like, ah, <laughs> shit. Yeah. Oh man, you gotta I'm do not, it. Look, you not, gotta do a due diligence. You gotta get when you get to that level, <laughs> you need a private eye to like suss everybody out, get their ages. And yeah. then be like, and then if they're 16, then you, you maintain a relationship. That's, <laughs> yeah. that's grooming. That's grooming. Well, it should be like Tinder where you can put the ages like 18 to 28, you know? Yeah. And that's what you see on TikTok. We're like 18 to party. 21 to answer. Yeah, like 16 to party. Yeah. <laughs> like we can just vibe. We can vibe. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, dude, a, that's, sorted, a, that's a sorted business. I've been vibing too much, dude. I've been vibing like crazy. Vibe. It's a sorted business. Vibing, it's a sorted business, dude. <laughs> I'll show you. I'll show you guys that. Well, the problem you is, is you got to get dads. Well, they're not like, I don't think they're that young. I have no idea how Who old knows? any of these girls are. Who knows? You got to get dads. It's the dad's fault. Dad's got to get on TikTok, show their daughters. Like, if you see this woman and you like her shit, I'm going to find you and yeah. fuck you up. Mm. Just get a dad, like, just fucking have guns and be like, you think my daughter's fucking hot, you sick fucking pervert? You know, if I yeah. see you liking her shit, I'm gonna come for you. Look, this is her. This is her in a bikini, dude. Yeah. Don't even fucking don't look. Don't hard you at all. Sick motherfuckers, dude. Wow. This was her mom when she was 17, <laughs> dude. <laughs> that's one. That's, one. that's a category now. A hot mom, and then they're like, she found this old tape of herself, and then they use the old filter of an oh. old camera, and it's a hot daughter. Dude, girls are perverts, bro. It's crazy. Girls are sick perverts. Dude. They're tricking me every night. They're trying to get you in the nest, dude. They're luring you, dude. <laughs> they don't want me in the nest, dude. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> that one is in the farts nest. and snores. 
hey, right? Man, they're trying to get you in the nest. Here's it's... my hot mom. They're showing you like, yeah, this is what I'll turn into, and let me just paint a fucking wall. Yeah, they do need to paint. <laughs> just paint. I can't. I've been renting. I'm not. They're fucking to paint. reverse Tom Sawyer's. <laughs> That's all they are. They're trying to trick someone into letting them paint. Yeah. They're a bunch of N-word gyms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's tough. It's out not there. applicable to the thing, but it's very funny. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. That's like my favorite. That's my favorite Louis. Oh. Yeah. oh. He's like Mark Twain said, if you never tell a lie, you don't have to remember the truth or whatever. And then he's like, but Mark Twain also said yeah. there once was a guy named <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. What a joke. Oh, Great. He's the king. Man, whatever happened to that guy? <laughs> so good. He's around. Yeah, man. The, but yeah, uh, that's you know, I, I mean I'm saying all this respectfully, but Seems to be the way. It seems to be the facts I've been picking up. Yeah, yeah. And they don't like the facts. No. <laughs> they don't like facts. I'm like, I'm just going off what I'm seeing. And they're like, fuck you. I'll kill you. Like, Why are you mad at me? I'm just saying. Wait, what who I'm... are you talking about? Women. Oh, okay. <laughs> Most groups. <laughs> Wait, I'm which just... group are we on right now? Yeah. I'm just saying what I saw the other day. And they're like, ah. True. Maybe you're so mad because we got something here. <laughs> you were on to the case. Yeah. <laughs> yeah they don't weird. like we. When you suss them out, it's yeah, they get very cornered. Right. It's like when they're like, they, you can't generalize a group. We're all different. And then they go on stage like, white people like mayonnaise and yoga and all yeah. that. And you're like, I thought we couldn't generalize. So that that one's, that one's true, but the other ones aren't. What's tough about it is that's the only group you can generalize about. Right. Left. So every white comic's going on stage and be like, white guys. Yes. <laughs> like, yes. it's the only one we got left. It, you just filter the Adele, one Do you want to paint a wall? Paint a wall? Yeah. Is that like kind of a dream for you? To paint a house? No, not a dream. Uh, yeah, she's lying. Denial. Lying right through her teeth right Clear now. Clear denial. <laughs> she has no idea. It's, <laughs> sorry. You know what else was a tough one is the, uh, like, you, you, you should have. Over two with Adele today. That was bad. Uh, that was she wants fun. a nest. What are you kidding? Come oh, yeah. on. Dude, she's come looking on. for a, a pile of sticks. She's probably crying right now. Dude. <laughs> Perfect. I've laid the trap. Now I get to go out and console her. <laughs> dude, you're a sick ticket, dude. You know that. Damn. You just wanted to break her down. You got to break them down. True. Yeah. Build them up. That's True. I'm sorry, baby. Long game. Beautiful. Yeah, I was watching. A, I was watching. <laughs> I was watching a, uh, one of those. Like, I, I watch a lot of. You, what's up? <laughs> It's not nice. This is fun. This is fun. Yeah. This, will, this will age well, like for the you know. Oh, this three will years, go really like, good for us. Forty years from now, they're oh, like, yeah. damn, dude, you're a fucking These guys are ahead of their time, dude. Hell. Yeah, once women now they have, know that trick. Once women have girls. regressed in the next forty years, <laughs> back to their place. They're like, damn, these guys called it. I can't believe they called it. <laughs> now nah, they're gonna kick it, dude. They run the world, bro. Are you kidding me? They do kick. They run ass. the fucking world. They kick ass as hell. I like, dude. That like, whenever I see women, I like, I shudder. Like sometimes I just look at them, like, what the fuck? I'm like, how powerful? I'm sorry, man. You guys just kick so much. But didn't you have that dude. experience when they when she gave birth? Though you watch your wife. Whoa. Isn't that the one yeah, thing? That's, that's the one thing nuts. that guys usually switch over, and they're like, they are strong. This that was yeah. insane. Well, it was like I was crying. You saw it. <laughs> well, I was it, I was on the other end because it was like the oh the face I, end. Yeah, the baby had the umbilical cord around her neck, so they had a. Do the old oh lynching open it up. yeah open it up yeah they had it three times I had it dude you, you're, sorry, I, sorry I had three I had it too comedy podcast I had it too I had I had it wrapped it's genetic so did I so did I did you really yeah yeah hell yeah bro a lot of, yeah, a lot of the, maybe it's a comedy thing I think so. I think that deprivation of oxygen early on just yeah I was a C section I was a C section yeah. too I was a unit. Re- oh, oh big ass baby you're, probably, you're probably you're probably fucking like rocky dude on her abdominal wall just fucking <laughs> yeah they cut me out early they're like get rid of this thing <laughs> this thing's already six two well, yeah they, it was like they came up with a bud light <laughs> it was terrible the whole experience is terrifying and i don't know if they go in it, it's of course it's fucked up they go into like it's like it's like two days before they're like i'm fucking hot and you're like <laughs> and then and then they're like <laughs> Fucking their ab, their stomachs here, and they're cut. And you know, I was like, eh. and they're like, she's like, you'll be soon to be okay. And I'm like, how are you champing this, dude? Yeah. How are you champing yeah. this? It was you and me you have a tough time with mushrooms. Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> it's like he's getting sliced open. That's the one thing you see, and you're just like, holy fuck. Ew. And then, and then, like, you're like, dude, you don't ever have to do that again. And like two weeks later, they're like, I want another baby, and you're like, what? Isn't that wild? What? But it's, you know, been going on for, obviously, generations and generations. And, it's and, the oldest time. Uh, true. And a, a big part of pregnancy is called nesting. Oh. So that, that's a thing. They start, like, they'll start, like, rearranging. It's actually pretty sweet. They'll, like, just 
deck your house out, your house becomes like super organized and laid out. Mm. Broke my nose in two fucking places, dude. You would have loved it. Dude. I would have. I mean, I was delighted when you dude. showed me, when you sent me the picture, when you told me what happened. It was. I actually I, was laughing very hard, and then I stopped, and I was like, well, I hope he's all right. Like, I was fine. I was, no, I, was, I was like, are you all right? I like, knew yeah, how I'm funny fine. it I was. Like, ah, as soon as I was yeah, on yeah, an, yeah. in an Uber on the way to the hospital, I went, that was kind of funny. It looks fine. Yeah, it's all right. Let me see it. Yeah, you can't really see it that much. Hold on. Get a better look. <laughs> yeah, you see it. <laughs> you weren't lying. It's, it's, ref- it's like going back to where it was. But my septum, I, dude, I went to the ear, nose, and throat guy yesterday. He remembered. He goes, you were at 25%, dude. He's like, you're at five right now. I went, son of a bitch. Damn it. Like, Cut me. He had, this, he had the same. Uh, it was funny. I went to the ear, nose, and throat guy yesterday. And he has the same last name as my mom. Like, mother's maiden yeah. name. I'm not going to say what it is for you freaks. You can hack my credit cards. My mother's maiden, maiden name. The <laughs> ultimate key to all my fucking kingdom. Too. What was the first pet you ever owned? A dog. What was his name? Sharky. <laughs> <laughs> what was my childhood best friend? Yeah. Oh shit! Spilling the secrets. The uh, yeah. So I was like chatting this guy up. Like I knew that we had the same surname thing going on. So I was like hitting him with like kin. I was talking to this guy and he. Oh, he's a kin folk. Kin folk. He didn't know. I'm gonna. I still haven't told him. I'm gonna tell him right before I go on the knife. I say, look, we're kin. Don't Better fuck this up. We're kin folk. Kill me, dude. Dude, I'm go- yeah. So he. Uh, I was with him yesterday. He goes, bro, you're at like 25. percent You're at like five now. Yeah. You know, and I actually floated a couple of theories. I was like, dude, is it true that different nostril breathing activates different hemispheres of the brain? He just went, no. <laughs> I was like, fair enough. And I waited. <laughs> dude, then he goes, he goes, actually, now that you say that, he goes, there's a guy I like whose work I've always followed closely. He's like super renowned. He did write something about like activating different areas of the brain. He's just being polite. He's like, no, he goes, it's not, you're not, ox- <laughs> he's he's not you're not bringing polite. oxygen to it, but there is activation. But he goes, I read that and thought like, that was a weird thing for this guy to publish, but he goes, so maybe, I don't know. So he left it at that. He was being polite. No, this guy was doing He was being polite. He said, he goes, no. And then he was like, well, I shouldn't have been that harsh. And he waited a couple minutes and was like, actually, I'm telling you, you know, this I is my heard look, something like that. Me and this guy are basically two people. <laughs> we're kin. We're related. We're cousins. Dude, and our surname also means warrior when you translate it, dude. Cool. Now people crack the code. Yeah, find out my mother's your mother's maiden name is Guerrero. <laughs> <laughs> mother's maiden name is Nancy Plaskin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mother's maiden name is Gentle Lady from Vermont. <laughs> they're not called gentle ladies, dude. They're called fucking girls, dude. Yeah, they're fucking women. Yeah, lady. Hey, fucking lady. <laughs> Yeah, hey, lady, make it quick. Okay, she's done talking. Erase that from the record. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just while she's talking, you don't have to type. You don't have to type. <laughs> You're wasting your time typing. She's just being. She's just mad. Just let her fucking talk. The uh, no, dude. So then, talking to this bro, he's get, dude. He started telling me what they're gonna do. To, first of all, I broke my nose fucking body surfing to the bros, dude. I I had my family <laughs> gather to watch me. I said, this is gonna be inspirational to my kids. Took in a wave. Maya wasn't paying attention. She cried because I came off. Like, you see that? She goes, I missed it. I was like, don't worry. Do I'll get out there and do it again. A big wave comes. And you know when you see a big wave, but there's a bigger one behind it? I yeah. Went, Everyone thinks I'm crazy. All the boogie boarders are, why is this guy not taking this? You should have taken this. This is a sick wave. I said, you guys can't see the one I'm seeing. Let that one go. It's me out there. Big, at, Bigger waves coming. A lot of times there's a second bigger wave coming. I mean, I've studied ocean patterns forever. I'm like RFK Jr. We document all this stuff. I have a journal. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sitting there. I hate <laughs> you. I hate you. Yeah, my little notebook. <laughs> so the wave comes. I fucking, I paddle as fast as I can. I say, please don't let me miss this wave in front of my kids. Dude, I time it perfectly. I'm watching boogie boarders just lose themselves in the bubbles. I'm fucking ripping on this thing. Dude. <laughs> I go to pop my head. I'm about to hot dog. So I pop my head out the water. You're hot dogging to, to look for your kid. Periscope while oh, yeah. riding the wave. I did it already that week. Periscoping out to look for the kids. As I pop my head out of the water, it just felt like I hit a brick wall. I look and there's a 12-year-old girl sitting there. And I, pop my, I come out of the water. I didn't even know it yet. I look like fucking sloth. Dude. I'm like, <laughs> my nose is all the way over here. I was like, are you okay? And the girl's like, yeah, I'm fine. I was like, what the fuck did I hit then? Brittany thinks that she let go of her boogie board. And as the she like the, well, the wave is so fucking tubular, I guess she bailed yeah. on it. She tried to catch like the little currents of it, bailed on it, let it go. And I as I came up, the boogie board thwacked That's me the with theory. the hard plastic bottom. But I'm telling you, it felt like I hit like a wall. So I think the boogie board shelved in the water, 
Ooh. and I was pushing against like a stable, yeah, like a yeah, stable yeah. side of it because there was no give to this fucking thing. But who? No one will ever know. It's a mystery. Forever will be a mystery. Could have been Poseidon's trident, dude. I think Poseidon I think struck Poseidon's you down. Trident, dude. He, fucking... he saw how arrogant you're getting with the periscope. <laughs> he said, "You will not periscope on my snarly waves." <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, broke it. No lifeguards checked me out, and they were like, "That's fucked." And then yeah. they're like, "Hold on, we have a medic." A guy came, and he was like, "Yo, dude, do you want us to call an ambulance?" And my wife goes, "Yes," and I was like, "Fucking no, absolutely yeah. fucking not." And dude, my there was a part where it was really cool where like I'm totally fucked, and there was that part of me that was like, "What if like a fucking sliver of my bone sitting in my brain right now, and I could die at any second, dude?" So I was like. We got to hurry up. I was dealing with, like, I could have a bone in the perfect spot in my brain that if I move a certain way, I die. I also don't believe that. You know, yeah. how, remember that when we were kids? Yeah, I know. They would talk about if you hit someone in yes, the nose. I, do. I don't I, think that's true. I lived it. I fully was like, yeah. if you get hit hard enough in the nose, your nose broke your brain. Don't get me wrong. If it happened to me, I'd be like, I think that's <laughs> definitely true. I, know. I I had it. it I was, don't have the... My nose bone, I think, just hit, just slid out of my brain. I'm living like, right now with no consequence of that being true or not. I thought so I was like, going to be Phineas Gage. Remember Phineas Gage? Yeah. I Took thought a I was, fucking rail to the fucking dome. Yeah, I thought I was like I probably went through my prefrontal cortex. I'm fucked. I don't know. Whatever it did, it jarred something loose. You're flying today. You're doing great. Just mushrooms. I think and coffee. maybe yeah. uh, <laughs> mushrooms and coffee. Although you know what happened though after the accident, I was I went to play pool and I was nasty at pool. You might be. It might have made you even better. I think so. It might have made you even. I was better at everything. I was hoping to God I hit my nose back over the other way so that my deviated septum would oh. work. When I came out and I finally saw it, it was a crowd of that side. I said, that's the last thing I need. That was the last thing I need. I already had a deviated septum. Dang dude, it. Dude, I, I was sitting there. My daughter was, Brittany was scared. The, the fucking medic was like, Jesus fucking Christ. And I watched my daughter's lips start to tremble. Total steeled up and was like, I'm fine. I'm driving to the hospital. Totally steeled up. Yeah, you have to. I was proud of that. You have totally to. Totally steeled up. The guys, like, well, come on, we'll get an ambulance. I don't need a fucking ambulance. I was like, Maya, I'm fine. Get a totally fucking fine. ambulance? Yeah, I'm like, I don't need a fucking ambulance. For no. A He's like, well, you might be dizzy. I'm like, yeah, I'm fucking dizzy. I just got whacked my fucking yeah, head. Yeah, I had a concussion in front yeah. of my family. So then I said, he goes, you shouldn't drive. I said, like, I'll get an Uber then. So I yeah. got wet and it's all his Uber. <laughs> <laughs> The dude was the man. Can you take me to the hospital? <laughs> dude, I just had a gauze on my face and a towel and a bathing suit. And I brought a tank top so I wouldn't be shirtless. No shirt, no problem in the hospital. Salt Life Hospital. But dude, I go in there. Yeah. And it was just me and a fucking pregnant lady. So there's a lady about to give birth. The hospital's so shitty there, dude. They're, everyone was very nice. But like a lady was there. Like the doctors like cut, just come like they schedule births. Like they're, I guess they're cutting her open yeah. or whatever. And uh, she waited for like seven minutes for someone to come. I was like sitting there with my nose and I was like. Maybe she's just having like birth pain. She's pretty far along. So then I was like, do you want to go? And she's like, no, no, no. So I went up and I was like, all right. And I'm like, you know, let me get seen. And then they're like, oh, we're bringing you up for a birth. And I'm like, what the fuck? Why did like take this lady back? Yeah. It was crazy. But then, then they, no, she was probably like, you have a deviated septum. Go. <laughs> you need, I mean, to this be is fair, urgent. <laughs> to be fair, I went back to get triage. There was four nurses and they all went. Oh, my God. And I was like, you guys, please be professionals. Please stop this. About the septum or the broken yeah, my nose? nose. <laughs> my nose. My nose. They were fucking the whole time going like, like you're at 5%. <laughs> I, was still jo- I was still joking with the lady. I'm surprised th- they didn't fucking hit you with the, the oh. charges, dude. You were, uh, you were about done. Bro, I had four ladies. You think they would have, dude. <laughs> they, you know, they got to ask me med- personal medical questions, to which I got to respond. Hell no, babe. Next question. About what? It's like, do you ever get this? I said, to get a what? <laughs> Not this guy. Let's keep it moving. What do you mean? They're asking me about certain injectables and if I got them. And I said, the what? Oh, they asked if you got the vaccine. They asked I, I said this. Why? I don't know. They always ask you. It's like, you guys don't hype. They're just hyping me up. So I get to go, Psst, nah. <laughs> yeah. Psst, that one? <laughs> nah. Yeah. yeah. I That's said, Does, for the record, it doesn't mean I'm anti vax That's very weird. They ask that. They ask you all the fucking time still, dude. Because I think they want to, they like try to get you still. They'll be like, do you want it? It's like, no. Yeah. No, yeah, I'll get it now. <laughs> I'm still waiting. I'd like to get it now. I'd like to get blood clots now. Dude, RIP, Tor- or Tori Kelly's not RIP. She's still alive, but Tori Who's Kelly, that? she's a singer. She's fucking like 30 years old, blood clots hospital. Which again, who knows what caused blood clots, but I've never, because sometimes when things happen, the news does make it seem like they're happening more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But also like, dude, did people ever get blood clots like this? It's fucking weird. 
I'm with you. But either way, you know, who knows? We're just Ooh, it does it does feel like some severe weather's headed this way. Hold on. Let me check my nose. The lady said I'm gonna start feeling it in my God nose. Fucking <laughs> damn it, dude. That yeah, me I can detect weather. <laughs> God damn oh, it, dude, dude. It was my it was literally my dream. I I think I still might be dreaming. Four ladies were like, that's so gnarly. I was like, it's nothing. Like, did you get the vax? I went Nah, it was yeah, tough guy. I was in tough guy that's heaven. That's about as cool as it gets. I was in tough guy heaven, dude. It was the best, dude. God, what's it's nothing more shameful when somebody's like, "Did you get it?" It's like, <laughs> yeah, I had to. <laughs> yeah, but that was equally, so embarrassing. To be fair, it was equally brave. I was so afraid of it, dude. And for me, it was less scary not to get it. I was, I was so scared. Mine was of it. full lazy. I was just like, "Yeah, I'll get it if it." But I got to walk over to Dwayne Reed. That's like three blocks. <laughs> that was funny. The seller called. The guy called the manager there. The owner there was like, "You gotta get. You it. gotta get. You're the only. You're like it's. It was just me and like four black comics that were like, we're not getting it, <laughs> <laughs> and we don't trust the government. And he forced you. Yeah, he forced you. Man. Uh, kind of. He was like, you gotta get it. He can't work here. I was like, fine. I'll go get it right now. Yeah, I you don't just care. got in there too. Yeah, I was like, I'll just get it. Yeah, fuck it. Well, at least he didn't. Thank God he didn't fucking. I only got one. I never got the follow up. That was kind of. That's kind of G shit. That's bad boy shit. That's G shit. I got one, so I could get it past the club. And then shout I... out to G shit. Gardini only got one. I filled out the other half of his card for G block baby. Just write these letters in your card. Fucking allegedly. Push, yeah. Bro, it's I was safe. solo. Safe. Patriots are in the fucking power. There's a lot of Patriots yeah, right. right now in complete X. control. Can't wait for fucking X, dude. X Twitter. X Twitter, dude. dude no, it's, it's not Twitter. Twitter. It's X. It's just X. I'm going to buy everything on X. It's going to be a marketplace, dude. It's going to be a marketplace? I'm stoked on it, dude. I I can't stand people hating on Musk, Musk dude. If you would have saw what I saw. You saw the Starlinks. I saw Starlinks, dude. If you see Starlink, you go, actually, Musk is God. Oh, by the way, he's just trying to make the internet free for everybody, too. Yeah. He's trying to give Africans fucking Wi-Fi. Please, God, let them. Do, please. Please, please let, them let the Wi-Fi. Africans get Wi-Fi, dude. Please make our job 50 times easier so we can bring up clips of those dudes doing funny stuff, dude. They're going to be the funniest <laughs> guys possible. Huh? That's going to be tough to compete with. African they, podcasts. Bro? I think those guys got some real issues. We get to lay around, complain about shit. Those guys, those African fellas, I think they got some real problems. Yeah, I mean, true. I wouldn't wish that on my, you know, starving or deviated stuff to my worst enemy, dude. <laughs> Deviates. I look as a sufferer myself. True. What's your journey been like? My journey has been so hard. It's a deviated septum. Yeah, I think I don't even. <laughs> I never think about it. I'm stoked, dude. I'm gonna have plugs in my nose. Oh, dude, so I got to tough guy heaven with the ladies. And tough guy like, heaven was. They're like, how are you not freaking out? And I said, guys, when your daughter looks at you with the tremble and lip, and they said, oh, you were you were being brave. You're like, being a good daddy. Yeah, pretty much. And like that's so. So I was just like, dude, this can this just go on forever. Then I went, I just sat in the back what of the What do these nurses look like? Uh, three black ladies, one white lady. Old white lady. It's like old white, old scarecrow white lady. Three just pleasantly, just kind of like rotund black lady nurses. And it was just perfect, dude. I, I just was perfect. It looks like they, someone painted them in that triage, dude. It was beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. They were just fucking, you're so strong and tough and calm. And I was, yes. Yes, I guess I am. Yes, I guess I am the coolest fucking dude you guys ever fucking met. Yeah, I broke I tried his... to let that pregnant lady go in front of me. I don't know if you guys noticed that. I felt so bad when I just was like, yeah, she's fine. I was like, I need my... <laughs> <laughs> it hurts. She's not that far along. Yeah, I'd yeah, be seen first. I'm not waiting behind her. <laughs> yeah, it was sick. It was uh, it was very fun. I got back and they were just like, it's broken into. I, I thought they were going to snap it into place so I could complete tough guy heaven and be like, do it. Do it. Yeah. Like it's broken in two places, your nose bones floating, and I was like, "Oh, that sounds scary." <laughs> Can it still go in my brain yet, or what? Is that done? And then just went home. Went home. That was it. Is your bone still floating? Yeah, man. I just have a bone not attached to anything. That's why they're able to tomorrow. Tomorrow, so the fucking nose doctor was like, "Yeah, we're gonna get a piece of metal and just kind of bend that thing forward uh. and pry it up." Then we'll go out and cut out your cartilage in your nose, and we'll straighten right, it dude, out. Don't tell me. And reinsert it into your nose, and then we'll they're gonna stuff me up with two plug so i'll just have a plugged up nose for six days and at the end, end of the That's six gonna days fucking annoying. it's gonna suck so bad because you know i love to breathe through my nose i have to plug unplug them and then it's like dude <laughs> and then they, fucking i pull them out on that sixth day and then it's on but he said your septum can naturally curve again and they got to cut me one in a hundred chance i can lose all There's feeling in my top one, my though. front teeth which i'm like fucking don't care 
He's like, they accept him concurve. And I told him, I said, dude, for, when you're on that, when I'm on that table, forget aesthetics. I want pure functionality. So you got to cut little gills in the side of my nose. Give it to me, dude. I want Please. total functionality. Don't worry about what my nose looks. If it comes down, if you have to make a choice between functionality or aesthetics, I want you to err on the side of fucking functionality, please. Of course. Guy's just like. You're the first guy who's ever said this. We're fucking cousins, bro. (laughs) We're fucking cousins. Dude, I was leaning into tough guy shit. I had double black eyes at the beach, so I would like walk into places and just be like. (laughs) These guys think I'm so fucking tough. I just thought you were a crackhead. I know. (laughs) With my family. This is a good looking homeless guy. (laughs) Got two black eyes. Yeah, broken boogie boarding. <laughs> yeah, body surfing. Oh, body surfing. Right, dude, Imagine a, a fucking fuck. deviated septum and a boogie boarding rash. That's, that would have been hell. That boogie boarding rash is nobody can know. I, yeah, <laughs> that's tough. <laughs> that would have sucked. They would have rushed you in the ER. Oh, dude, if I had the boogie boarding rash, I'd be like, yeah. you guys think this nose is bad? Check how red my stomach is. <laughs> my here. belly is. I knew I should have went in and put my rash card on, but I didn't. 